Sitting down to your favorite meal, you dig in, knowing that what you're about to eat is going to be delicious. But is it truly healthy for your body? Depending on the ingredients that you choose to put into your meal, you might actually be ingesting chemicals that can lead to less than desirable health effects. These laboratory-crafted artificial colors and food dyes are derived from many different sources. Several of them are petroleum-based and have been shown to put animals and people at risk of cancer. Artificial food colors are used in candies, sodas, juices, ice creams, cosmetics, skincare products, and so many other places. They enhance the color of products, making them more eye-catching and appealing, especially to children. Unfortunately, several of these coloring agents have come under scrutiny, especially Red 3, Red 40, Blue 1, and Yellows 5 and 6. In the European Union, many of these artificial food colors are completely banned, citing health dangers. We will be focusing on the Red Number 3, Red Number 40, and Yellow Number 6, the most dangerous of all. If it has a label, it's not food. Food is things that grow on the ground, grow on a tree, or have a mother, and are minimally processed. And anything else is what's known as a processed product. Now, the problem is that it can be a little tricky, right? So let's just talk about pickles for a minute, right? You think pickles are um, fall into the definition of food. Pickles are made out of little cucumbers and they're a vegetable and they're soaked in brine, which is salt water. It sounds innocent enough, right? But if you pick up a pickle jar, a lot of them have food dye in them. Red dye number three. Due to cancer concerns, red dye number one was banned in 1961. Red number two was banned in 1976. And red number four was banned soon after. But what about red number three? used today in everything from sausage to maraschino cherries. It was found to cause DNA damage in human liver cells in vitro, comparable to the damage caused by a chemotherapy drug whose whole purpose is to break down DNA. But red number three was also found to influence children's behavior over 30 years ago and to interfere with thyroid function over 40 years ago. Why is it still legal? By 1985, the FDA had already postponed action on banning the red number three 26 times, even though the acting commissioner of the FDA said red number three was of greatest public health concern, imploring his agency to not knowingly allow continued exposure at high levels in the case of red number three of the public to a provisionally listed color additive that has clearly been shown to induce cancer while questions of the mechanism are explored. The credibility of the Department of Health and Human Services would suffer if decisions are not made soon on each of these color additives. That was over 30 years ago. At the end of the day, industry pressure won out. While FDA scientists and FDA commissioners have recommended that the additive be banned, there has been tremendous pressure to delay the recommendations from being implemented. In 1990, concerned about cancer risk, the FDA banned the use of red number three in anything going on our skin, but it remained legal to continue to put it in anything going in our mouths. The FDA also said they planned to end all other remaining uses of red number three, lamenting that the cherries in 21st century fruit cocktails could well be light brown. But over 20 years later, it's still in our food supply. After all, the agency estimated that the lifetime risk of thyroid tumors in humans from red number three in food was at most one in a hundred thousand. Based on the current U.S. population, that's 3,000. Red dye number 40. You won't just find it in red colored products. This food coloring is used to add color to pickles, chocolate pudding, flavored chips, and many other treats. The red food dye can mix with other colors to create specific effects, so the only way to find out if something contains Red 40 is to read the label. The tricky thing with labels is that these food additives aren't always listed with the same terms. Here are a few of the names for red food dye that you might find in the ingredients. Red 40, Red Number 40, Red Number Sign 40, Allura Red, Allura Red AC, FD&C Red Number 40, FD and C red number 40, 
CI16035, CI Food Red 17. You might also come across the name Red 40 Lake or Red 40 Aluminum Lake. A lake is a slightly different chemical preparation from food dye and is non-water soluble. A chemical compound, in this case, aluminum hydroxide, is mixed with the dye base. Red Food Dye Lake is what is commonly used for things like cosmetics, red medicine coatings, candy coatings, and other solids. Red Dye 40 and ADHD. Research in both animals and humans has shown synthetic color additives such as Red Dye 40 to have links to ADHD symptoms and other neurobehavioral conditions. According to a 2021 report from the state of California, research does indicate that children who consume synthetic food dyes, including Red Dye 40, can experience hyperactivity and other neurobehavioral issues. Experts believe that Red Dye 40 and other synthetic color additives may cause behavioral changes due to depletion of minerals that play a role in growth and development, including zinc and iron, chemical changes in the brain, hypersensitivity, which causes allergic reactions such as inflammation. Many studies on synthetic color additives look at red dye 40. Although the data varies, the majority of studies report at least some connection between color additives and ADHD symptoms. Sensitivity to food dyes varies from one person to another, but most research has focused on children. Adverse effects can occur in children with and without pre-existing behavioral conditions, such as ADHD. Yellow number six. One of the numerous artificial dyes under the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetics Act, yellow number six is currently considered one of the most harmful in comparison to other colors. Yellow number six, a toxic chemical, is a sulfonated form of Sudan 1. This poisonous substance was one of the original petroleum azo compound dyes developed in the late 19th century during the European textile boom. Sudan 1 is classified as a level 3 carcinogen, meaning that it caused cancerous tumors in lab animals, but has no specific link to cancer in humans. A tiny proportion of people express an allergy to yellow number 6 and experience symptoms such as hives, asthma, and skin rashes. Similar to other dyes, it is heavily correlated with hyperactivity, especially in children. Some highly regarded studies revealed it to have carcinogenic reactions in mice, though Food and Drug Administration officials found the studies to be insignificant. The FDA continues to justify the negative effects of artificial dyes on human health, in spite of numerous studies highlighting these effects. Recent studies conducted by Jim Stevenson, a professor at Southampton University, clearly linked yellow number six to hyperactivity in children. The British Food Standards Agency has since banned the use of this dye in any food or cosmetic product. Likewise, the Center of Science in the Public Interest in the United States has appealed to the FDA to ban the use of all artificial dyes in food and cosmetic goods. Foods are inherently ugly. Designed for hunger, foods without these precarious color additives are not pleasing to the eyes. Regardless of how many studies are completed, Poisonous additives such as red number three, red number 40, and yellow number six remain in our food. Most people are unwilling to eat colorless foods in their natural state. It's just not pretty. It's in your best interest to avoid food products that contain these additives. Choose candies and treat foods that are colored with food-based dyes. Avoid skincare products and cosmetics that artificially dye their products. Read labels carefully as many different words are used to indicate artificial dyes.